With the finale of Game of Thrones just airing, the question on everyone's mind now is what's happening with the spin-offs, how many, what they're going to be based on. So I'm going to bring you all the information I've found so far, and let's look what we've got coming up. Whether or not you are happy about the end of Game of Thrones and how it ended, there's no doubt you're going to be excited for the spin-offs, which are all prequels. So they're going to be based before the TV show we've already seen. But let's delve a little deeper. So what do we know? There's going to be five spin-offs. We have seen a list of producers. We've got names like Jane Goldman, who did Kingsman the Golden Circle. Max Borenstein, who did Kong Skull Island, which I absolutely loved. Brian Helgeland, I hope I'm saying that right, who did Legend. And Carly Rae, who did Mad Men. Now, only one has got to the stage of pilot so far, and only one has a name or any information about it. And that working title is Blood Moon, so that could be changed. It is in production. But beyond that, the only information we have is this excerpt. The show's description, straight from HBO itself, is Taking place thousands of years before the events of Game of Thrones, this series chronicles the world's descent from the golden age of heroes into its darkest hour. From the horrifying secrets of Westeros' history, to the true origin of the White Walkers. The mysteries of the East to the Starks of legend, only one thing is for sure, it's not the story we think we know. Now that is a paragraph and a half to get you hooked. My biggest question from the series is the origin of the White Walkers, their story. For me they're the most fascinating part of the show, so not having a true send off for them or a true delve into their history and the mystery behind them all, for me was a shame. Um, I think there was something about not telling as much that added something, but when it came to the end, it just felt emotionless. So I think this series could really add to that. Knowing little bits about the long night before as well, the giant ice spiders that Nan told Bran about in the first episode, there's so many cool things they could bring into this and I cannot wait to see it. Beyond that, we don't have much more information. We do have some cast names, so I'm just going to run through those briefly. We've got Naomi Watts, which is probably the biggest name here. We've got Miranda Richardson, Jamie Campbell, Georgie Henley, Marcus Rodriguez, all so far in unspecified roles. So we don't have any more information on that. You could probably guess from how the characters look, but I mean, we've seen characters have their hair changed, their look changed in the show, so you can't really read too much into that. So that's all the information we have so far. We've got some cast, we've got a story, and we've got potential producers one thing J.R.R. Martin did say himself is there's no King's Landing, no Iron Throne, no Targaryens, Valeria has hardly begun to rise yet with its dragons and the great empire that it built we're dealing with a different and older world and hopefully that will be part of the fun of the series and after how this series has ended I think he's probably spot on, we do need something fresh but still in the world of Game of Thrones so I cannot wait to see this I'll be bringing you more information as the spin-offs come and obviously when they're eventually out, which isn't going to be for a while, I will be bringing you reviews and stuff on the series. But until then, I will be running the movie moments where I pick out my favourite bits from movies, which is a new series on the channel. I will also be doing Game of Thrones stuff and A Song of Ice and Fire breakdowns still, just not as regular as they have been. So if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see, drop them in the comments below. But until next time...